with more donuts. And we're back guys with <laughs> more donuts. <laughs> so yeah guys, what is going on? It is your boy Carboholics. And your girl. And we are back with a new YouTube video of ours and today we went to Krispy Kreme guys. That's right, we Kreme. went to Krispy Kreme. So we have three dozens right in front of us. I got four regular glaze because you can't go to Krispy Kreme and not get the regular glaze. And I just warmed these up. It's nice and fresh out here so they're gonna be even better. So we're time. gonna move right on to these donuts before they get cold because you know I like my donuts warm and like I said, it's fresh out here. It is 6 37 a.m September 12th, so cheers, cheers to our first donut today <laughs> Just as soft as I remember mm -hmm. Just as good as I remember and here it is, Team Big buys this glaze for you. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it is the beginning of fall, guys. But I think fall begins on the 20th, right? Oh, Something like that. It. But anyways, okay. <laughs> it's glaze, guys. <laughs> but anyways, we did get their pumpkin lovers dozen which includes pumpkin spice regular original glaze. We're gonna start off with those. So two for each. Oh no, we got three of these, so we'll share one or we'll do two at a time. And then we're gonna get their filled pumpkin spice glaze. So let's try these. So I'm gonna go warm up the next batch and I'll be right back with you guys. You guys, he'll be right back. First. And we're back guys. He almost turned it off again. I am back, guys. <laughs> I did almost turn it off again. And we're going to move on to their original pumpkin glaze. And I already showed you guys, actually, these donuts. So, cheers. Yeah, see. And I love pumpkin spice, guys. So, mm. Oh, yeah. And the donut is nice and like a brown texture on it. And the pumpkin spice on it is actually really good on this. Huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. We should have got a dozen of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are really good. Now let's see their... Magnifico. Pumpkin spice original fill. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Let's see, this one I think is like a cheesecake filling. So let's see how it goes. It's, it's nice and heavy though. Yeah. So they didn't skimp out on the filling on this one. Mmm. Yeah. I don't like this one, guys. Here's the filling. Me personally, I didn't like that cream cheese cheesecake filling they use so I'm gonna leave that one. that one this one was actually not that bad I didn't like the filling that much let me see let me give it a second try maybe it's because it's warm this time the other one wasn't warm but I don't like too too much of it yeah I don't like that filling that much but it, it has a great cheesecake taste guys and it's weird because I like cheesecake but it has to be a a sweet like cheesecake. nice cheesecake you know like the Reese's peanut yeah. butter cheesecake from the cheesecake factory I'm all there for that but this one I, I didn't really like so I'm gonna leave that there I'm gonna it. go warm up the next batch and I'll be right back with you guys guys he'll be right back First. and we are back guys all right guys so I'm back with the next batch and we're gonna start with the pumpkin pie cake donut from Krispy Kreme, which is my favorite pumpkin pie spice donut that they make. I've tasted the cinnamon roll once before and I wasn't that into it, but this pumpkin spice cake donut was the goat before, so we're gonna see if it still holds up. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's still a goat. Mm, that's so good. It's still their top pumpkin spice donut for me. 
and it comes really close to the regular glazed pumpkin spice. Oh, those, yeah. are, those will be my top two. If you want something heavier, go for the kick one. Want something lighter, go for Yeah, guys, and you can't go wrong with either one. So here it is, guys, the cinnamon roll, which is a yeasted donut with a brown sugar. And it looks like, I don't know if this is a cinnamon roll sugar filling or it's cream cheese. Maybe it's cream cheese. But if it's the cinnamon roll stuff, it might be good. It, w it was cream cheese last year or two years ago when they made this one. So let's see if they changed anything. Cheers. <laughs> Pretty good. It's actually the cinnamon roll stuff now, which is really good, guys. Crazy. This one was our least favorite, huh? Mm hmm. My least favorite now is the original filled. I will put this one in third place. Second place will be the original glazed pumpkin spice. First place is the cake one. And it really just depends if you're actually filling for a cake donut or a regular yeasted donut from Krispy Kreme which you can't go wrong either way. The pumpkin spice flavor on all these donuts is really good. Perfect. Even on this one. Mm -hmm. Wow, and that was actually good. So I'm gonna warm up the next batch and I'll be right back with you guys. We're finishing the donut so fast, guys. <sighs> and we're back, guys, again. I'm back, guys. Oh yeah. With some filled donuts. We're gonna start it off Ew. with the powdered raspberry filled from Krispy Kreme. And guys, I know I've said it a couple of times, we're not really into filled donuts, but for the past couple of cheat days, some of these donut shops have actually been changing our mind and we've actually been ordering them now. Just because, you know, V started liking most of them, like from SK and Donut mm -hmm. Hut and stuff like that. The raspberry donut. Yeah, so we're gonna try this one out and see how we feel about them. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. It doesn't feel heavy, like if they don't, doesn't have anything. <laughs> Like oh, you, you do such a little bite. Look at my what, friend. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what is this? But look at her bite, and compare that bite to mine. You gotta get in there, girl, to but get that on. filling. Come on, you see that? But yeah, piece? there's a. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> what happened to the field? But yeah, guys. Krispy Kreme is lacking on their filling. Oh, but their filling is good. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave this little piece here because as you can see, it's just all dough here towards the end, even towards the beginning. I mean, there's like a quarter size poly spot of filling in there. So just make sure you get a big bite. And I think that you're supposed to start from this side. So <laughs> cheers. Epic fail. Here it is guys, regular raspberry filled. Here's the hole and I think you're supposed to start from the opposite side of the hole because that's where the jelly gets pushed back to. So Fatality. let's see how it goes. <laughs> now this one uh -huh. was filled. This one's better actually. Oh well I licked some of it off but this one had more filling. Yeah this one's much better than the powdered one. I love the sweetness of the glaze. Wow. It's been a while since I've been to Krispy Kreme. And yeah, they're glazed yeasted donuts, guys. I just can't get over them. They're really good. So we're gonna move it on to the Reese's Classic Donut, which is now a regular item at Krispy Kreme, which I'm really excited for. I mean, our first vote was for the Reese's filled one, filled. which actually gave us more of that peanut butter taste. If you guys saw that past video that we did on, on, on when they had them released, all three flavors, but this one was our second favorite. So it's good that it stayed on the menu, but we're gonna spice it up a little bit, guys, because we didn't get too much of the Reese's flavor from this one. So we're gonna add one chocolate lovers Reese's cup to each donut. And I'm gonna warm them up like that and I'll be right back with you guys. Mm. Make it more soft. And we're back, guys. All right, Reese's guys. Donuts. <laughs> I'm excited for these, guys. So I warmed them up. Here it is. 
and I put a whole Reese's chocolate lovers cup in there. So let's see how this goes, guys. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to chocolate. Five times better. For sure, five times better. <laughs> I need to take a picture of this and send it to Krispy Kreme. <laughs> now that was great and filling. So, y'all need to tag Krispy Kreme down in your comments and tell them you're sleeping on this idea of Krispy Kreme. We're just peanut butter cup stuffed in each one of these and you could charge your 35 cents, 65 cents bullshit extra that you usually do like for the apple fritters. It will be perfectly okay for it. Mm -hmm. Or they could have that request of saying just a classic regular like that. Or you could pay 35 cents extra for a cup in there. I would, I would be highly, highly happy with that too. So we did get two of these because we were planning on stuffing that Reese's cup in it and you guys know how we feel about Reese's cup donuts so here's the second one yeasted donut with Reese's cup chips peanut butter drizzle chocolate drizzle over the top and a peanut butter type of filling inside plus that chocolate love of Reese's cup cheers plus that extra extra sauce <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Plus that extra mm. <laughs> mm. Delicious guys Look at all that filling It Don't won't even face. focus Don't your face <laughs> So I'm gonna warm up the next batch, guys, and I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> and we're back, guys. We're back, guys. So we're gonna move on to their apple fritters. I love apple fritters, guys. And this one has so many apple pieces. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at the bottom as well. It's crazy. And the apple fritters from Krispy Kreme are pretty good. They're not as, as crispy from the outside, but they have such good flavoring. Cheers. <laughs> Oh yeah. I like it. Okay. It's okay. Hmm? <laughs> I think I enjoyed more the blueberry one from, mm -hmm. from Krispy Kreme more than the apple one. Yeah guys. I like it but it's really soft. The apple fruit is good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's talking about. It's got great flavor. It actually has a crisp outside this time. It's Yours. gooey from the center, Yours. but that's okay. <laughs> Yours! <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good, but their blueberry fritter was a goat at Krispy Kreme. I used to love those things. I don't know why they discontinued it. I don't know if it's only at the Krispy Kreme around us or if you guys don't have them as well anymore. Probably never had them. But their blueberry fritters, if you guys tasted those, those were amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah. And my fat ass would cause sometimes, you know, spread some peanut butter over the top when I would warm them up. Ah, oh, those things are so good. But nevertheless. Your fat ass never wanted to share. Hey, That's on. another thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of milk, guys. You're sleeping on the job. <laughs> Trying to cut back up. It's almost gone. A little bit less than halfway. Why? Mm. I don't really want to eat it because it's not crispy. I don't feel the. Guys, it's a great apple oh. fritter. I don't know what she's talking about. It's good. Is it on my head? What? The bee. No. Next stop, there's strawberries with sprinkles, guys. 
Oh, look at mine, huh? Which is also formerly known as the Homer Donut. <laughs> look at mine. Wow. <laughs> the lazing over the bottom there. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to Homer. Let's see if we could do the Homer in one bite. Mm. Nah, it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> How could you eat it like that? Mm. If I put it all in my mouth, I won't be able to chew. <laughs> Why? Because it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's stretching your whole cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do like artificial flavoring. I think they say they're um, strawberry glaze is artificial flavored, but didn't it is damn try? near delicious. <laughs> didn't we try one that was, um? it was a strawberry, but it was like the, it was an artificial, natural, like a natural strawberry, they had a different one. I don't know, not that I remember. You don't remember? I don't know what you're talking about guys, but if you guys do seem to come across a video, make sure you guys leave that in the comments. I really don't remember what donut place she's talking about. Krispy Kreme. But I'm going to warm up the next one and I'll be right back with you guys. Definitely not Krispy Kreme though, so I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> and we're back guys with more donuts. We're already full. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to move on to their sour cream glaze guys, which... This is a great classic cake donut. I love their sour cream glaze from here. It is really good and I would kind of compare it to a buttermilk, a glazed buttermilk bar without that buttery flavor. But it's got like the same textures and everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. You want to do it? Ah, I was going to say you want to exchange. No. Wow. <laughs> this is romantic. Oh, what is this? Watch out! <laughs> it actually doesn't have as much flavor as it used to to me. It's more biscuity. Yeah, you're right. It's more biscuity. <laughs> biscuity, he said. <laughs> I guess after tasting all those buttermilk bars, I this one is not as great anymore. It's still good because the texture is nice and um, not moist either, but like soft, huh? But it has more of a biscuit flavor, and I'm guessing that we got used to the buttery flavor of the other ones. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Because this used to be like one of my favorite donuts from there. And they used to make it more like, um, more crispy. It could also be because is like our 13th donut <clears throat> so maybe that's why I I my 12 donut. maybe those people are right you know there's people that say after like 10 10 donuts or something you can't really taste through your 11 donut that's great or some some like that i don't know guys they all taste really good to me <laughs> but this one just had a different flavor we're gonna move on to their new york filled donut and I've never tasted a New York filled donut. I don't even know what type of cream they used to fill it. Maybe was it New York cheesecake or what was it? I don't know what it was guys, but we're gonna share this one. We've never tasted it from any donut shop nor from Krispy Kreme. Oh wow, look at that magic. Which one you want? I'm on this one because I don't really They're like the same. cream cheese. Cheesecake. Cream cheese. I don't know what that is, but... You gave me the biggest one! Oh, yeah. Look it. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Why? Really? <laughs> you got up and... I don't like it. And what? Why? Why? I guess I don't like cheesecake that much. It has that same thing as the other one that you like. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's cheesecake or oh. what it is. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one. <laughs> I <didn't> like it. <sighs> Alright, well we got a strawberry eclair to kind of wash that off with. 
I know some of you guys might like those New York style donuts. Oh, it's dripping all over everywhere. Hey, look, you got it on the <laughs> But me, guys, personally, I don't know why. I do like certain cheesecakes, like I said, but that, I don't know, I can't. Uh, I just can't with that. And because that, that, flavoring. that one has lemon, that's why, too. Made it more funky. I don't know. Mm. Cheers. I like this one. <laughs> Strawberry filled. Strawberry drizzle at the top. <laughs> mm. Strawberry has diarrhea. Look at it. So good, guys. And that's it for the first session of this section of this donut part, guys. 7-18 till September 12th. We left three, seven, eight, eight donuts. Nine because we really just bit the cheesecake one. Ooh. And V left an extra one, so. We had, what, 36 donuts. So 27 donuts in. We ate 13 and a half each. 12 and a half for V because she left that apple fritter. I am not dramatically full. I could probably still eat like two more of these, but I'm making a bit of room because I do want a bigger dinner today or a bigger second meal. Oh, yeah. And then we'll be back to these at the end of the night for you guys. Guess so what it is. Make sure to stay tuned, stay and we'll tuned. see you guys on the next video. I mean, on the next meal. Peace. <laughs> Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back with the second meal, and it is 4 p.m. Still September 12th, and we got ourselves. I mean, if you guys see the McDonald's bag, you guys probably could already no. guess what we got ourselves. We got ourselves the Travis Scott meal. All right, so if you already know, this is a quarter pounder with cheese, bacon, and I believe lettuce, tomato, and onions, some fries, Ooh, and this some barbecue sauce for the fries. Huh. Let's see what it's got. I believe that's what it was, right? Lettuce, onions. So yeah, it's bacon, cheese, lettuce, onions, and pickles, so no tomato. No tomato. And here's how it's looking. Mighty delicious. The quarter pounders are already great themselves with cheese, lettuce, onions, pickles, and ketchup. Oh man, this thing is gonna be amazing. And now they usually do include two Sprites, but we did Diet Dr. Peppers. They didn't have Sprite Zero, which I was going for, but that's okay. This is still the Travis Scott meal. Let's see how it is. And we got some Cheers. fries. The burger actually looks kind of small. It does, huh? Oh yeah. Mm. With some mustard though. I would add mustard to this guys. You should have the secret sauce. What is your secret sauce? <laughs> <laughs> That's a secret. We have to at least try half of this burger the way he eats it to actually be able to say, you know. Oh, with the barbecue, no? How it is. He does the fries with the barbecue sauce. But just like that, guys, mm. it is a pretty good meal. It tastes pretty damn good. But me, I ordered some Big Mac sauce on the side, guys. Now, when I was in middle school, I used to add Big Mac sauce to my double cheeseburgers. And that was the way to go. So I'm gonna try adding Big Mac sauce to this one and see how that is. Let's get it nice and spread on there. Oh. Give me some sauce. Give me that sauce. Now we got it nice and saucy, guys. This is what it's missing, guys. Let me tell you. Well, let me taste it before I tell you, but I think I already know what's going down. Let me show you. Oh, it looks so fun. good. Oh, yeah. It's freaking good. Wow. That's amazing. Mm. Huh. It was missing something for me. Me too. I wasn't. And Big Mac sauce is what it was. 
Oh, yeah. Definitely. The barbecue is good too, but I like more. Uh, he does the fries with the barbecue sauce. Though. But I like this one more. The Big but Mac. the Big Mac sauce on the burger, guys, that's the move. So, if you guys go out and try that Travis Scott meal, make sure you request for Big Mac sauce on the side, just so that you can taste the way he orders it, and then put some of that secret sauce on it. And we'll call that the Travis Carbs. <laughs> right? <laughs> or the Carbs of Scott. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys, but seriously, though. <laughs> <laughs> Try it out. It, it's definitely the way to go. Well, at least it was for me. Mm. That'd be even good with some jalapenos in it. Oh. Oh, yeah. That would have been. So, I want y'all to tag Travis Scott down here because he needs to send me that money for this remix mm -hmm. that I'm featuring him on. This is the Travis Scott remix, baby. <laughs> This ain't even the Travis Scott meal no more. Mm. All done. Time to move on to the McDonald's fries. All right, good. These six guys. Why about this? I thought these were supposed to come with like some Travis Scott packaging, but I guess not. Or maybe they ran out. Maybe it was the first couple meals or something like that. Let me know in the comments if you guys were aware of that or if there was like a, uh, the first couple 50 orders at a McDonald's or a certain McDonald's that we had to go to. Maybe I just had misinformation. But it was a great burger. For me, it's always missing something just to, you know, I don't know. I guess I just gotta add that signature of my own taste like we all do you know we all have that uh, unique taste that we want from a certain thing just like he has his we all have our own but you guys could try it this way and try it with the Big Mac sauce and let me know what you guys think let's move on to the fries and let's see he usually eats the fries with some barbecue sauce Mm. And I do like the fries with barbecue sauce. I think I've dipped them in barbecue sauce actually before, huh? Mm -hmm. Back in the days, but it's been a minute since I've gone to McDonald's. I really don't do barbecue sauce. I rather do like buffalo ranch. I think the last time I went, we went to McDonald's was for the. Fit foodie couples yeah. or fit couple foodies. The challenge that they had with the Big Mac meal and all that. A classical challenge? A classical challenge, there you go. That was the last time I went to McDonald's. And it's good. I mean, even right now with the quarter pounder, that thing was good. Was Especially good. with the Big Mac sauce. It was delicious. That was actually good. But I'm actually gonna leave you guys here with V. I'm gonna go get some ketchup because I can't do the fries with just um, barbecue sauce. And then you do give you ketchup? No. Because this is how the meal comes. Oh. You want me to fast forward? I'm back. <laughs> and I got us a no sugar added ketchup, guys. Saving the day. And I barely ate like three fries. <laughs> I'll bet. Here's that. So what happened? What's going on? No, I'm gonna fast forward this part because I don't think you guys want to see us eating just a whole lot of fries. But all I did was put ketchup on them oh three two one okay. I say guys Travis Scott meal no mo ah. and it was an excellent meal guys 
Oh, there's fries in there? Mm hmm Excellent meal. Beautiful. It was great. Delicious. Now, we are going to close out the video here, guys. You know, the sun is, is going down a bit. It is, is 4.13. Depending on how we feel, we might come back and do those donuts. I don't know yet. We might just eat them later on. Watch a movie inside, but I don't know. What do you think? Who knows, huh? We're actually drinking some IPAs right now, and your boy gets really, really lazy when he drinks IPAs and he just wants to take a nap. And so does V, so I don't know yet. I guess we'll just leave it up to the day. But for now, we're gonna close up the video here just in case. But make sure you guys are following us on our Instagram if you guys wanna know what we're eating during the night time for right now like I said we don't have light so we depend a lot on the sunlight out here or the lighting outside my lighting my light bulb outside sucks so <laughs> once it's nighttime and we eat again during the nighttime we don't come out and redo them but if you guys want those videos and don't mind the yellow lighting we will just let us know down in the comments but for now you guys can follow us on Instagram and we do post most of our stuff there I'm only my account down here my account down here and her account down there and we so, are back people with the last with portion of the donuts i don't know it kind of cracked out there you know after time. those um ipas and we went out to walk for a bit and it's like really smoky out here so it is actually 6 48 no, september 12th and, those Pokemon guys. <laughs> gotta become the Pokemon master of the Indigo League. <laughs> so anyways guys, we're gonna keep it moving here with the pumpkin spice donuts, which were very delicious. I'm gonna start off with the regular pumpkin spice glaze. And, I'm and we're gonna give her off I mean give me the, <laughs> the the pumpkin spice filled glaze one. Cause I didn't like the filled one, guys. It has like a cream cheesy kind of flavoring in there. And I'm not really into that switch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Mmm, hot. Mmm. Robin. I like the, the cream cheese, but not that much. They had a lot? Yeah. That's why I went with the regular glaze, guys. It's definitely my least favorite. Yeah. I wouldn't get this one. That one was definitely my least favorite. First one, like I said, was the cake donut, which we're going to move to next. We're going to have this one. Pumpkin spice cake donut. Guys, this was really good. This was my favorite one. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Perfect. And I love pumpkin spice everything. I think it's one of my favorite seasonal flavors, or it is my favorite seasonal flavors. Let us know down in the comments what you like, would be your guys' seasonal flavor. You like pumpkin pie everything? Pumpkin spice. You said pumpkin pie. No. I have spice. <laughs> pumpkin spice everything? All the pumpkin spice things that come out during this time are so delicious. Now I'm going to move on to the next one, which is the cinnamon roll. And this one, guys, I believe it was last year that they came out with it. And I wasn't a big fan of it, but this year, I think they changed the glazing that the type of, um, I don't know what that is on the top, but it was good. Huh? I'm pretty sure, cheers. I'm pretty sure last time it was more of a cream cheese type of glazing they put on the top. Not this year. Maybe it's because it's less cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know, but they changed something in it. So I'm going to warm up the next donuts and I'll be right back with you guys. I'll be right back. And I'm back. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to move it on to their... And I didn't show you guys this one in the morning because we only grabbed one, which is their birthday cake, which has birthday cake batter filling and a birthday cake type of yellow glazing with... um, What is that? Confetti, you would call it? Mm -hmm. I like this one, guys, but V is not a big fan. Oh, snaps. Oh, you missed oh, it Oh, snap. Here, cheers, 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 because it's all dripping on my hand. One. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh my god, go. I mm. oh.
I actually prefer the filling on this one than on the other donuts, like the New York one and all that. This filling is actually sweet and good. It actually almost tastes like the yellow batter from like a yellow cake. I thought you didn't like it. It's good, huh? It's good. The last time that she had it, guys, we were attempting the 10,000 calorie challenge for the donuts. And that's why it was like, what, your 20th donut, mm -hmm. I think, huh? I'm uh, pretty sure that's why she wasn't filling it too good. Yeah. Now we're going to move on to bad. the chocolate cake donuts. Which, if you guys haven't seen, this is how the chocolate cake donut from Krispy Kreme looks. Really delicious as well. And this was number one for Cheers. me. Cheers. Let's this was her good. number one cake donut. Let's Not really for me. Let's see if it is. It's alright. I mean, I'll still get it because it's still good. But. I remember it being better than this. But damn, yeah. Cause side but after car. tasting all those donuts, guys, especially those sidecar cake donuts, I mean, these just don't stack up anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a decent donut, I and I donuts. believe, I mean, we haven't been to Dunkin' Donuts in a minute, and it's been a pretty good while since we've been to, like, about two years, guys. We might need to go to Dunkin' Donuts to compare it, but I'm sure this is still better than Dunkin' Donuts. But don't Maybe. quote me on that. We'll take a trip back and see if they've actually changed some things. It was still pretty good, though. Not that bad, but yeah, sidecar cake donuts have just reinvented the whole cake donut game for me like it's just uncomparable because these are still soft but it's not as moist inside yeah. like wet inside mm. yeah <laughs> well, well yeah it's true yeah it is the, the cake donuts from sidecar chocolate eclair guys double chocolate eclair i don't even show it to you guys i just kind of completely chopped it in half this is how it looks Boom, with chocolate inside, chocolate filling, and it's nice and warm. That was some of that cake batter filling that you guys saw that drizzled over the top. Cheers. Cheers. This was our top And this was used to be a, one of our top ones off from side from Sidecar, from Krispy Kreme. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is where their chocolate game is at, guys. This mm -hmm. is still my top chocolate donut from Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. That chocolate filling they use is on point. It's so good. They should mix this filling with the with the peanut butter filling that they use on the Reese's Classic Donut. Mm. Huh? I, I'm pretty sure that would be delicious. Emily, we were. Sitting downstairs at 2 a.m. eating Krispy Kreme. <laughs> 2 a.m. after eating two pizzas. <laughs> and that's it, guys. How many donuts? 36 donuts from Krispy Kreme down today. That's Thirty quite six? an amount, yeah. 18 mm, three, each. Three dozens in the morning? No, it's a three dozen total. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, 36 donuts down, 35 because we did not eat the cheesecake one. We just each took a bite, which we didn't like. The New York one, but that's it. 36 donuts down. I did end up eating most of um piece apple fritter that she left. This is the only piece that stayed there. I am completely done for the day. How about you? to go get some ice cream i'm done for the day guys i might have to take her to get some ice cream make sure you guys are following us in our instagrams which we just linked earlier you would see what kind of ice cream she's getting if she gets any ice cream mm. but i am completely capped for the day i'll probably eat a little bit later on but you know it'll be towards the night just like a light snack but once again, thank you guys. If you guys have made it this far to our video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Holla back at your boy and you girl. for our next video. Peace. <laughs> Doodles. <laughs> Doodles. <laughs>